Today we are taking a look at Red Style Links from Hasbro. Got this figure from Amazon for $24.99 and here's a quick peek out the back. It's time to get her out of the box. As you can see, Red Lynx comes with three accessories, and we will begin with the Scratch Mark Harvesting Tool. This looks exactly like the one we got with the first version of Lynx from Hasbro. A submachine gun with the Ultra Red Wrap. This looks pretty good. I like how it matches the figure color. And a scoped assault rifle, also with the Ultra Red Wrap. Unfortunately, with this weapon, there is a bit of a bend here, and when I rotate it so you can see straight on, the scope section is also bent up, so I'm going to have to warm this up with some water and see if I can get this to kind of straighten out. Unfortunately, this figure did not come with cardboard pieces wrapped around this accessory to keep everything straight. That must just be held for the deluxe figures. As you can see with the tape measure, she is about six inches tall. Let's see how she compares to other figures. Here she stands next to a DC Multiverse figure and a Halo Spartan collection figure a pair of Marvel Legends figures, a pair of G.I. Joe Classified figures, a pair of Star Wars Black Series figures, a wrestling figure, a Power Rangers figure, and an Action Force figure, a pair of Jazz Wars Legendary Series figures, and a Legendary Series Brawler figure. And finally, standing next to a variety of her Hasbro Fortnite peeps. Red Lynx is the exact same figure as the original Lynx that we got from Hasbro. It's just repainted. So here's a quick few differences if you want to take a look. It looks like she's got more shiny paint on the legs and maybe around the harness, the shoulder harness and the legs. This figure, the red one, seems to have, it does shine and reflect, but it doesn't seem to be quite as bright. The original Lynx had some decoration on the figure. Let's see if we can move her arms off to the side. There was some cool little patterns that are a little bit difficult here to see. Let's see if I can, you can kind of see them right through there, just a very little bit. This figure does not have those. So there are a few differences in that regards. The same will hold true for the Red Lynx that the original links and that is the there is no rotation down here at the boot ankle it's probably where the boot would be it looks like there is a cut there and i'm sure that's there so that the lower feet portion can plug into the leg but these do not rotate at this point right there same with the original links. So you saw a brief little difference there. So don't try to rotate there at the upper ankle, the calf, not the calf. It's it's just this spot here. Don't try to rotate. It might break. Uh, one thing I kind of forgot, this figure has about 33 points of articulation. And I was going to say 32 until I remembered she has a ball joint for a tail. It can pop out. So it's just a ball joint that can rotate around come out just a little bit tuck in just a little bit it's a cool figure it was a cool figure when the original one was released and it's still pretty cool now i really like the guns that come with this figure the ultra red wrap i think they're pretty nice what do you think of this figure overall but i'm i'm liking the color that's the one really cool thing about the fortnite franchise or the brand ip is that this lends itself so well to being repainted because there are multiple styles for the same character. And that's really cool because sometimes toy companies just repaint things, like say with Legends or something. They reuse body parts, they reuse things over and over, and some of the fans get frustrated that they're getting like reused or repainted when they want something new. Well, the cool thing about Fortnite is they can legitimately repaint these things. Stay, stay, stay. <laughs> she doesn't want to stay. It's one of the problems with this figure is it can be difficult to stand. These legitimately can be repainted because there's multiple styles. And that's really cool. And I'm in it for all the styles. So I don't mind repaints in general. But with Fortnite, it's so much easier just to say, yeah, we need this style. It looks the same. Just repaint the figure this way. And I'm super happy about it. I like this figure. I liked it since the beginning. Not much has changed. The articulation is all pretty much the same. You can refer to my original Lynx video 
if you want to see the articulation there really isn't any hindrance to this figure i think it just looks really cool geared up the ultra red wrap i think looks really cool tails between her legs a little bit let's get it up there that's where it was i was trying to avoid it let's do that there you go but pretty cool figure i like it if you didn't get the first one you'll definitely definitely like this one and i think this is pretty awesome all right that's it i'll see you later